Hello everybody, how are you? Good day and good morning. I hope everybody is doing well and we thank God for this opportunity and this new day. We appreciate what the Lord is doing in our life today. I want to welcome everybody on this uh, global solution for all mankind. This is a place where we provide an answer, a direction, and uh, a solution for the challenges and all the problems that a man and women go through and encounter in life day by day. And I want to appreciate all of you, those who are stopping to watch my video, and those of you who have joined this uh, channel uh, by subscribing. Uh, I want to thank you so much. And I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you, the Lord will continue to preserve you, and the Lord will continue to keep you alive. So, uh, thank God for this day. Mm, I'm coming to you direct on this channel again to bring a good, uh, powerful information that uh, everyone outside there, you need to be aware, you need to come across, uh, you need to have understanding. I want to bring information and I want to talk about the spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. Uh, reason why I feel to speak on this topic is uh, because of uh, a lot of ch challenges and uh, problems that uh, are deal with in the life of men and women that are presenting their cases uh, to me. I've realized that uh, some of uh, the problems are caused a lot by this so we call spiritual husband and wife. And it's a topic that a lot of people don't understand how it look like or how they don't have information about. Information on this area is hidden and a lot of people are in darkness. Some of the people, they don't believe. They don't believe that there is a spiritual husband or there is a spiritual wife. But this is something that is viral everywhere in the world today. A lot of cases of men and women having problems and challenges in life you come across, you understand that uh, the big challenges on some of the problems are spiritual husbands or wives. And that's why I want to talk about this uh, from this dimension. Uh, well, uh, uh, there are different types of uh, spiritual husbands and wives, but uh, the way I see, we have a challenge on how to set our people free or how to overcome that uh, challenge because of lack of knowledge. If you don't have information on those dark areas, you may not be able to help uh, yourself or help your brother or your sister. And this is why I'm very much concerned to see what I can do to be able to bring this information full in package uh, so that uh, everybody outside there that hear the sound of my voice to be able to have a clear understanding on how these things operate. So there are three types of uh, spiritual husbands or wives. And if you don't know, you may just binding, losing, uprooting, blocking, destroying, speaking in tongue, doing whatever you can do, maybe using salt, using coconut water, or maybe you are using any ingredient or any natural remedy that may not be able to solve your case because there is no clear information on what you are dealing with. When you know what you are dealing with, then it becomes easy for you to be able to understand how to go about it and what to do exactly to be able to set this person free or set yourself free. So my viewers today, as I said, there are three types of uh, spiritual husband which a lot of people don't understand. 
the number one type of a, a spiritual husband that we call we call a spiritual husband is witchcraft a witchcraft is part of that which uh, happens because when you see maybe you are experiencing a dream a spiritual sexual dream that a man is coming to sleep with you in the night or a woman is having a visitation visiting you in the night and having intercourse in your dreams so you think is a spiritual husband that is witchcraft is part of it witchcraft they have a lot of games in that area you may find in a home where you are married and uh, maybe the mother-in-law he doesn't uh, support you are married getting married in that home so anyway if you marry by force in that home without their concept and they don't like it they'll be working there is a, uh, some people who are which they can turn into a man in the night and coming to have an affair with you as a married woman in that home maybe when your husband is just there or when your husband is out in a dream they will turn and have uh, this uh, type of uh, dream this type of activity they have to visit you in the night if you say a woman he turn into a man and they meet you if you are a man they can turn into a woman and meet with you sexually and you find you wake up you think oh i have a, a spiritual husband i have a spiritual wife uh, because you encounter a dream in the spirit where you encounter such a act well that is a witchcraft and it has a lot of many people in many places you can rent a new apartment a new house and when you enter in that house you see that you start experiencing such dreams some 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 landlords who are witch they they enslave all the people that uh, pay or rent their houses so what they do now they be enslaving them and they be visiting them in the night and do such things in the dream is a frustration of witchcraft it is possible in the world of witchcraft and it is happening in a lot of families the reason why they do that is because they want to break up your marriage they want to break up that marriage because the marriage was not their happiness they were not happy to get you married in that home or marry that lady in that home so your mother can frustrate you if she's a witch your father can frustrate you in that home if he's a witch and you will find that uh, you have that problem uh, some of the manifestation is when you get pregnant you see they will cause miscarriage they will come in the night and do the same thing and when you wake up you find you have a miscarriage some some they lead to barrenness to make sure that you don't uh, get a baby you don't have your own fruit of the womb eh? so that uh, in that home you don't dis you don't qualify you can look for another woman or you can look for another man hmm? that is what is happening they have a problem where they can even terminate your baby some of you of those who are strong they can maybe if you give birth they can kill a baby anytime you give birth they kill a baby or anytime you get pregnant they terminate it you do a miscarriage they tie your womb by having intercourse with you in the dream a spiritual deposit is taking place and therefore you are being contaminated and uh, your womb can be tied because once you meet with this person in the spirit in the dream remember it become part of you is a law of the spirit
okay, having sex with somebody, whether in the spirit or physical, the person become part of you. So it is a very, very dangerous. That is witchcraft. The number two. Number two is the one, the one I call the familiar spirit. A familiar spirit is a demon within your family. A demon that knows you very well. A demon that knows the history of your family. A demon that knows your grandpapa, your grand-grandpapa. And that demon will not allow something good to happen to you. Sometimes I call them the, the family idols. Family idols. They can marry you when you are still in your mother's womb. They can marry you at the time of ceremony, ceremony the time of uh, dedication, that time when you go to dedicate a child and give your child a name. In that ceremony, demons always, they have, they visit that, that, that they are present. Just like the angels of God are present, the demons are also present. Satan sends his agent to come and see what type of a name you are given. If your name is given, uh, if your name you are given does not have anything to do with God, then they have a chance, a total big chance, an opening door in your life. When the name, that name, uh, it does have, he doesn't have anything godly. Eh? An angel will leave that, prayer, that, that, that ceremony. He will go. The angel of God. Eh? They will not represent that name. They cannot pick that name. The name that is uh, attached to idols or wickedness or dark world. They cannot present it to God. That's why in the spiritual world, you may find there are some people in heaven, their names are different the way they call themselves on earth. For instance, the case of Jacob. Jacob was a Jacob, but in heaven there was no record of Jacob. In heaven, the person that was called Jacob in heaven was Israel. So the man was working with identity, which is uh, not recognized in heaven. And therefore he missed place a lot of things went wrong in his life because of mis having a wrong identity. And there are a lot of people operating that. So these are demons that uh, knows your family, they know the history of your family, they know uh, your grand grandpapa. So they also frustrate people in the family. You'll find a, a family where they if you're having a dream sexual dreams they turn into men they turn into women hmm? they marry you so you call them spiritual husband because you are told anytime you have a spiritual dream like that in a dream is a spiritual wife is a spiritual husband it's not true that thing is also called a family idol. They are capable to have a, a sexual dream. They are capable to destroy your life. In fact, family idols do not allow anyone to get married in the home. They can stop marriage. Where you will see some people in the home, at the age of 30, you are not married. Age of 35, you are not married. 40 years, you are not married. People are growing old. They don't marry. Mm? The family idol is also responsible for the termination of the contract. Maybe if you get a contract, a, some, a good contract, or you can earn something good, you'll find that uh, a family idol will be responsible mm? to terminate the contract. You go there, it's given to somebody else. They don't recognize you again. You lose the contract. It's a work of that uh, demon in the family. We call it familiar spirit. These are the same spirit that we call monitoring spirit. But they monitor your movement. They monitor your movement. They monitor your plans. 
to monitor your, 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 your progress. They do a projection into your life to find out information ahead so that they will be able to terminate and destroy every good thing that comes on your way. It's a case of uh, family idols. Eh? They destroy business, they destroy uh, careers in young people. To, you will find a home where people are not uh, happy to go to school. People are not educated at all. Foolishness abide in that home. Stupidity. People have no education. People have no light. Hmm? Let's say you have a business. Maybe you are a doctor. You have your hospital. They are responsible to block customers in your hospital. <clears throat> huh? Maybe you are a lawyer. You have a law firm. A family idol will come and sit on that seat. In the spirit, and you don't understand, they will be preventing people not to come in that, that office. The, it's the same thing that's happened to many, many business. They don't come on your way. They sit on the position where they divert. Some people, some demons sit on the on the way, on the, the door gate. When somebody comes to buy something on your shop, they pass, they open their eyes, they see them, they bypass. Eh? Family idol is a wicked spirit. It's also in the group. It can turn to be a husband. It can turn to be a wife. And become responsible to terminate or destroy your, your problem, your family, your family, your life, your business. They are the ones that are responsible. Financial destruction. Eh? They are the ones that are responsible. Then, the number three is now the really husbands, 